When bringing home a new pet, you might need to train all pets to enjoy each other's presence. You have to be really patient with them about this because it could take a while for them to be comfy around each other. For us, it took about two months. No. <laughs> this is my new dog, but we already have a cat at home. Both pets have gotten injured from car accidents, so they can get a little paranoid, especially Bramble. So the first step is to make sure your dog knows their commands. A couple of important ones are lie down, stay, and sit. Sit. Good girl. As a dog owner, you should always practice commands. Dogs love validation when they do something right. Good job. The second step is to have them smell each other through scent swapping. You can use a small hand towel to rub your pet's scent glands. For dogs, it's under their armpit. For cats, it's their mouth. Then, leave your pet's scented towel near your other pet and let them approach it. Do this for maybe a week or until your pets don't seem to mind the towel. You could also have them swap locations so that the dog can smell the cat's bedding and the cat can smell the dog's. The third step is to have them look at each other through a glass barrier. This might be a little scarier, but one thing you can do is feed them their meals or treats while they look at each other through the glass. This would help them associate the other animal with something good. You can do this for one to two weeks or until they start to seem more comfortable. The next step is to have them see and smell each other. This can be done through a mesh barrier, like a screen door. You could keep doing what you did with the glass barrier so that you can really reinforce this positive association, this time while seeing and smelling each other. Again, do this for about a week or when they stop reacting to each other's presence. Finally, you can have them in the same room. Make sure your dog is on a leash and let the cat initiate the approach. Soon, they will get comfortable and are able to be near each other without any problems. Eventually, you might be able to remove the leash from your dog. Just make sure your dog knows their commands and you still keep them supervised. Remember, this can be a long process, so be very patient and eventually your pets can get along too. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more dog tips and to follow along on Thess's adventures. Thank you.